we're standing here with, with Freddie Di Dab again uh, with another field of beans here that was planted kind of late and everything on it uh, to kind of give us another idea of how good this our soy soap works on this. Uh, Freddie, tell us what you did here on this field here. Well, these beans was planted on July the 23rd, and uh, they were sprayed three times with soap over the top while they was growing, and we spraced it out over a, uh, about a three, two to three week period right. in between each spraying, and uh, we didn't even come back and spray over the top of these on the count of, we didn't have time when it's uh, calling for frost. Right. And they wasn't mature, there wasn't nothing. I mean, they, they was gonna be nothing. And, but we had, like I said, they'd been sprayed three times with the soap. And uh, so we come over here and looked at them right after it uh, frosted. And uh, the leaves are still green on them. It burned them a little in the top. And it did burn a few of the pods that was right on the top, but everything else is fully matured and all, and, and I think they're gonna be uh, uh, pretty good beans. Well, it looked like the, the three sprays you've got help hold these against the frost and everything, and I don't see if any, I don't know of any other product that would help protect the plant from frost like this. Had it not had the protection that it had, these beans would have never filled out, would they? No, they wouldn't. I mean, they would they would have been no count at all. If when that we had our first frost, if it had killed them right then, and they hadn't have protected them and kept them green, they wouldn't have filled out and they wouldn't have made nothing. Well, how many total acres are you farming this year, Freddie? Uh, around 2,000. How many acres is, How many acres did you put the soap on this year? Well, we've got about 1,700 acres of beans, and we, we've done every one of them at least twice, and some of them have done three times. Three times. Yeah. You had some so, corn this You had some corn this time. Did you spray your corn yeah, this time we, with it? Yeah, we sprayed our corn with it, too, and all, and, the, and it really helped on it, and all because uh, we've got some that was planted late and all, and, and uh, uh, when the creek got over it and flooded on it, and we, we uh, done it, we hadn't picked it yet, so we're going to try to get it out and see what it done, but it made. It made? Yeah. We're going to go down and take a look at the cornfield that it was planted July the 1st here in just a few minutes. Yeah. And I know there's a lot of the, the beans will have four in a pod, and, and all of them's got, there's a few twos, but most of them's three, you know. And, and they uh, some full pods where you spray this so yeah we've noticed when we're walking out into the bean field here you look through the top of the beans you got some clusters of some four bean pods in the top of these plants here even planted on July the 23rd 